Welcome to IT and Automation Academy. In today's session, we'll cover everything you need to know about PNP sensors. If you're new to automation or just starting your engineering journey, don't worry. We'll break down the basics, explain how they work, guide you through wiring, and show you how to test them step by step. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. What are PNP and NPN sensors? PNP and NPN refer to the type of transistor inside a sensor. Here's an easy way to think about it. P stands for positive and N stands for negative. A PNP sensor allows current to flow from the positive terminal to the output. This is why they are called sourcing sensors. An NPN sensor allows current to flow from the output to the negative terminal, making them sinking sensors. Here's an example. Imagine a light bulb connected to a sensor. A PNP sensor sends positive power to turn on the bulb, while an NPN sensor provides a path to ground to light it up. Understanding the load. The load is simply the device the sensor powers. Common examples include a lamp that lights up when an object is detected, a pneumatic valve that opens or closes, a relay or a PLC input. To ensure the system works correctly, the sensor must be compatible with the load's requirements. Wiring basics of PNP sensors. Most PNP sensors have three wires. Brown wire connects to the positive power supply plus 24V. Blue wire connects to the ground or negative terminal. Black wire, this is the signal output wire, which sends signals to the connected device. Why three wires? One wire handles both power and the signal, saving space and making the design efficient. Similar to using a single water pipe in a bathroom for both hot and cold water. How does a PNP sensor work? Here's a simple explanation. Sensing element. The sensor detects an object within its range. Transistor action. Inside the sensor, a transistor switch is on, allowing positive voltage to flow to the output. Load activation. The output powers the connected load, like a light bulb or PLC input, completing the circuit. Example. No object detected. The output is of. Object detected. The transistor activates, current flows, and the output is on. Solid state outputs. Modern sensors use solid state technology instead of mechanical relays. Advantages high reliability, faster response, cost effectiveness, smaller size. Important current flows in only one direction, determined by the sensor type, PNP or NPN. How to wire a PNP sensor to a PLC. Follow these steps to connect a PNP sensor to a PLC. Check compatibility. Make sure the PLC input module is syncing. Syncing modules work with PNP sourcing sensors. Connect wires. Brown wire to the positive power supply, plus 24V. Blue wire to the ground or negative terminal black wire to the PLC input terminal. Complete the circuit. Connect the negative terminal of the power supply to the PLC's common terminal. What happens next? When the sensor detects an object, it sends a high signal positive voltage to the PLC input. The PLC then takes action based on this signal. Testing a PNP sensor with a multimeter. Here's how to check if your PNP sensor is working. Prepare the multimeter. Set it to measure DC voltage. Connect leads. Red lead to the black output wire of the sensor. Black lead to the blue ground wire. Supply power. Connect the brown wire to A plus 24V power source and the blue wire to ground. Observe readings. No object detected. Voltage close to 0V. Object detected. Voltage close to the power supply voltage. Around 22, 24V. 
If the readings match, your sensor is working perfectly. Key points to remember. PNP sensors are sourcing sensors that provide positive voltage to the output. Always check the sensor's compatibility with the load or PLC module. Solid state outputs make sensors more reliable, faster, and efficient. Understanding the wiring and current flow is crucial for proper operation. Conclusion. Congratulations. You've just learned the fundamentals of PNP sensors, from their internal workings to wiring and testing. Remember, practice makes perfect. Sensors like these are the backbone of automation systems, and mastering them is an important step in your engineering journey. Got questions or suggestions for future topics? Drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more beginner-friendly tutorials.